have a feeling that something really bad is going to happen tonight. But waiting if it be. Hello everybody, my name is Eva Labi and welcome back to another video. Today's video is about a movie called Delivery Boy that is on Netflix. And let me just say this, Delivery Boy is such a beautiful movie, okay? Like it's so beautiful, like there's just something about the way it's shot and the story that is so beautiful to me. And I decided that for today's video, that's what we are going to talk about. The Delivery Boy is actually about this guy this young boy called amir who we don't at the beginning we don't know what his deal is but as the story goes we find out that he's out to seek revenge against this malam who abused him when he was young and we find out how that came to be and he met the sex worker whose face is bent like half her face is bent which was a very for me was a very interesting like dichotomy because as a sex worker you're your body is essentially your work and the fact that half her face was burnt was just a very interesting you know change and these two people met in one night so he was running to exact revenge on this malam and kill all the people in the network and she was also trying to catch up with someone who had slept with her and hadn't given her the money and they met in a kick in a pep forged this friendship by fire delivery boy is very interesting the fact that it tackles very interesting dynamics in the nigerian community you know about how sex workers are seen about you know suicide bombers because we actually find out that amir works for this malam who lets them go out on these operations and these operations they like they kill they do all sorts of like very bad stuff but they do it in the name of allah so basically it makes it seem like you do all these bad things but because you are doing it in the name of allah it's a good thing and how people use religion to kind of no not kind of but how people use religion to brainwash young people to follow their course and you know wherever you go i would follow you and then we find this prostitute who is also just struggling to find as much money to pay for her brother to have the surgery and it seems like no matter how like no matter what she does the money is just not enough and these two people meet and they form a friendship and the friendship is so sweet but at the same time it's just you can see that there are two people there are two head souls and i enjoyed every last bit of it by the time the story comes to an end and we find out that amir has been through so much like he went back to the orphanage in which he was in before he was sold off to the malam and when he went to that orphanage he was stabbed by the mother of the orphanage and that's where we find out that the mother was selling off the older boys so that she could take care of the other young people in the orphanage so which goes to show that if you do bad things to well for a good cause does it help you know like i'll kill 10 people but it's just because i want to feed 100 people so does it absolve you of that guilt but that's what i find interesting because you know like people can do like a lot of bad things but like you know i was doing it for something good i killed that man to take care of 20 people so at the end when it came decides to become the suicide bomber in place of amir that was like a very sweet sacrifice i don't know i've said sweet so many times in a, in a movie about people doing the absolute worst things but when she decides that okay amir deserves a second chance at life but she would rather do this for him it is someone you never met before there's someone you met during one night but you form such a bond that you decided that you know what you are i'm going to take your place and kill this man for you and then you go on and take care of my brother for me and i mean that was so nice but one thing i didn't understand is that at the end why did she have to reveal her suicide vest to the people because i mean if you're going to bomb them and that you know that's what you're going to do you don't have to reveal it to them you can just you know stand in between them smile laugh and you know bobs your ankle and then you just blow them up so that's a part that I thought that, eh, I mean, you shouldn't have shown the vest to them. Now, all in all, Delivery Boy was a very enjoyable movie, okay? Like, 66 minutes is such a short time to just enjoy this movie. And I actually did like it. Delivery Boy is a love story. It's one of those love stories that just it stays with you because it tells a very grounded story of humanity. You can meet one person and the person can change the trajectory of your whole life. And... That is the one thing I appreciated about it. Delivery Boy is fully in Hausa and Pigeon English. The thing is that personally, I'm not fussy about reading subtitles. If the story is good, I don't care about subtitles, okay? And so for everyone out there, if you haven't seen Delivery Boy, it's on Netflix. Please go out, check it out, and come and tell me what you thought about it. And for everybody that has seen Delivery Boy, what did you think about it? What were your favorite parts? My favorite part was actually when they went to the abortion clinic okay but it was turned into a hospital for him i feel like the interactions between 
the woman that was a nurse but not a nurse and in cam and amir there was very heartfelt and so that's like my favorite part but i want to know if you've seen delivery boy which part of delivery boy did you like and if you didn't enjoy it tell me why you didn't enjoy it my name is ifa labi thank you so much for watching this video and honestly smash the like button Mwah.